What's good, y'all? It's Bull Ross back at again with another video. So, remember to check out the children of WWE wrestlers. This would be a very interesting one. Imagine your mother and or father is in the WWE. They're a WWE superstar. I, I think that's probably like one of the coolest things you can low key, not even low key, high key flex on. Like, yeah, my dad is a uh, main event Jay Uso, or my dad is Roman Reigns, or whatever the case may be. Like, I think that's pretty damn cool to be able to say that or maybe oh my mother is you know bianca belair or even uh what's another popular say for example you know rhea ripley ends up with a child and you know her child get to grow up saying my mom is rhea ripley that's gonna be a very interesting one because i'm pretty sure <laughs> some of his friends or her friends at the schoolhouse can be like your mom is fine <laughs> that that would be interesting, but either way, that's still pretty cool to be able to say your mother and or father is a WWE wrestler. So we're going to check out some of these uh, instances. Appreciate all love and support. Let's get right into it. Imagine having a WWE wrestler as your parent. That's the reality for these kids. Yeah. Randy Orton has a pretty big family. Mm -hmm. The Viper's first child was born in 2008, a girl named Alana. Orton even tattooed a rose with his daughter's name next to it on his left awesome. arm Love to after see she it. was born. Currently, Alana is 15 years old and in high school. She's already somewhat taken after her dad as she's passionate about sports. Perhaps that'll She definitely looked like Randy Orton for sure. ...lead to her getting involved in sports entertainment. Randy Orton remarried in 2015 and became the stepfather to three boys. Michael, That's awesome. who's 21, Robbie, 19, and Anthony, who is 13. Not a ton is known about Orton's boys, but one of them can give a good RKO. <laughs> I've seen that one. But don't worry, the Viper got his revenge. Oh. That was a well-timed one, too. <laughs> Randy's fifth and youngest child is a girl named Brooklyn. She's seven years old and the Apex Predator's second biological kid. Despite being so young, Brooklyn is already building a passion for the wrestling business like her father. AJ Styles That's has awesome, the coolest man. names for his kids. The phenomenal one has been a husband since 2000 when he married a school teacher named Wendy. The couple had their first child in 2005. <laughs> oh, Wendy! <laughs> Fucking Samoa Joe. <laughs> would have three more over the next nine years. Styles has three sons, a Jay who is 18, 16-year-old Avery, and 14-year-old Albi. The WWE superstar also has an eight-year-old daughter named Annie. Now, if you haven't noticed, the first yeah. name of all of AJ's kids all starts with Annie, a. and AJ Styles' real last name is Jones. Therefore, all four of his kids are called AJ. AJ. Despite That's what WWE cool. might say, Akira Tozawa is not married to Tamina. Tozawa actually got married in 2018, of but course. the name of his wife is unknown. The couple welcomed their first child in March 2022, a baby girl. Likewise, Akira's kid's name is unknown as of right now. We all and know that's fine. You know, you know, sometimes let let people have their privacy. I'm all for it. Even though now his gimmick is doing this. <laughs> that's his gimmick now and for whatever reason, it's actually somewhat getting over, so. <laughs> but Vince McMahon's children are Stephanie and Shane, but what about their kids? Well, Stephanie and the King of Kings Triple H uh -huh. got married in 2003 and have three children, all of whom are girls. The oldest is Aurora Rose, whose birth was announced by Vince McMahon on Monday Night Raw. My granddaughter is far more wealthy than any of you here <laughs> in this arena, all right? He was telling the truth. <laughs> That's the crazy thing. He was... He was definitely telling the truth. They're already stupid rich, so <laughs> he wasn't lying there. <laughs> Aurora is 17 in 2023 and has been trained to become a wrestler since 2021. Wow. However, it is likely that Stephanie and Triple H will encourage her to get a college education first yeah. before joining the family business. That's cool. As for Triple H and Stephanie's other daughters, Murphy Claire is their second oldest at 15 and has expressed interest in fashion. As for the youngest, Von Evelyn, who is 13, she's displayed a fascination with animals and I'm not talking about Batista. The <laughs> girls are still very young, but maybe we'll see all three of them form a faction in WWE called the Queens. So well, Triple Queens. Oh my god. Triple <laughs> H and Stephanie have three girls. Shane McMahon yep. has three boys. His sons are Declan, who is 19, Kenyon, 17, and Rogan, who is 13 years old. Shane's kids have been seen at several uh -huh. WWE shows and even walked out with their dad during his entrance at WrestleMania 32. The oldest, Declan, is currently playing football at Indiana University. Despite that, Declan hasn't ruled out a future. Yeah, in yeah, I've seen him on uh, TV. That's a cold ass uh, championship belt, too. Be. He would probably be pretty good at it too, because when asked if he watches AEW, Vince McMahon's grandson said, "Quote: I don't watch that crap." Since just wow, damn. Well, well, <laughs> damn.
damn, that's damn. He he let it be known. Fuck AEW. That's that's how he feels. I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense. <laughs> Come on now, your your dad is Shane McMahon. Your grandfather is Vince McMahon. Like I said. It makes sense. <laughs> since 17, Baron Corbin has been a married man. And since 2019, Corbin has been a father. The former Constable of Raw has two daughters, both of whom are pretty young. Corbin doesn't share a ton about his kids, and it's unknown what their names are. What is clear, though, is Baron Corbin's love for his family. That's the American dope. Nightmare's daughter has a pretty fitting name. In yeah. 2013, Cody got married to WWE announcer Brandy, known at the time as Eden Styles. Eight years That's later, crazy. the two had a child, a girl they named Liberty. However, the name didn't have anything to do with Cody's American Nightmare persona. Brandy explained that she and Cody wanted their kid's name to have a connection to Disney. While they were thinking of names, they happened to be standing in Liberty Square in Disney World. The name Liberty stuck, and the rest is history. Oh. It's well documented that The Miz and Maurice are husband and wife, and their children have also shared the spotlight. After getting married in 2014, Miz and Maurice had their first child, a girl named Monroe. She's only five, but Monroe has already been making a name for herself on her parents' reality show, Miz and Mrs. Likewise, mm. The most must-see WWE superstar's second child, Madison, has also been featured on the show. The Miz might be the A-lister, but his kids are definitely the stars. Love While to see it. Most WWE wrestlers Love have kids that are pretty young. Booker T has a son who is 39. When Booker was 19, his girlfriend at the time gave birth to the future Hall of Famer's first child, who was named Brandon. Unfortunately, the father and son had a strained relationship. Oh. Brandon ended up getting arrested when he was 21. Booker refused to pay bail, and Brandon resented his father because Damn. of it. However, in recent years, Booker and his son have slowly rebuilt their relationship. Additionally, Booker T also has two other children, twins in fact. In 2010, Booker and his wife Charmel welcomed a boy named Kendrick and a girl named Kennedy into their family. Now, can you dig that, sucker? Nah, that's cool, man. That's that's definitely dope. I'm glad they're, you know, trying to build their relationship or have already built their relationship. And, you know, it, it happens. It's, it's, it's unfortunate sometimes, you know, that relationship with your, you know, parents may not be as great as some would think it should be but as long as you're able to mend that and fix that that's all that matters so shout out to booker t and his son being able to make that work Chinese wrestler Boa is another member of the WWE roster who is also a father. Boa has not been overly public about his family, but it appears he has two children, an older daughter and a younger son. After winning the Cruiserweight Championship, Angel Garza proposed to his girlfriend in the ring, sports journalist Zay Lozano. About half a year later, the two got married, and I think two I've years seen later, that. the couple welcomed their I've first child. Clip. Garza is the father of a one-year-old girl named Dara. I don't want to put words in Angel Garza's mouth, but I'm sure he would say his daughter is the real Angel. Three years <laughs> after making his WWE debut, Undertaker went from being just a dead man to being a father. Undertaker's first child was a son named Gunner. In 2012, mm. Gunner attended Full Sail University, but he wasn't there to get involved with NXT. Instead, the Phenom's son has pursued a career as a video game artist. Today, Gunner is 30 years old and lives in Nashville, Tennessee, That's crazy. where he works. Your dad is the Undertaker, bro. That's so cool. <laughs> like, your dad's the Undertaker. It don't get no cooler than that. It don't get no cooler than that. Like, almost everyone knows who your dad is. He's a legend in the wrestling business. That's pretty awesome. Not gonna lie to you. For the technology company, Concentrix. Later, Undertaker would remarry to a woman named Sarah, who would appear in WWE and become involved in storylines. The dead man Sarah had two children, both girls, Chasey and Gracie. In 2023, they are 21 and 18 respectively, but neither one has been very public about their lives. In 2010, The Undertaker got married to his current wife, fellow mm -hmm. WWE wrestler, Michelle McCool. Two years later, they had their first child, a daughter named Kaya. She just turned 10 in 2023, but is already learning the ropes of the family. <laughs> business. She was even seen at the Royal Rumble sitting beside her mother. Taker also has a fifth child, an adopted four-year-old son named Colt. Maybe someday we'll see Kai and Colt inside a WWE ring. You never know. You never know. Carrying on their mom and dad's legacy. In 2020, Angela Dawkins became a father. Dawkins and his partner welcomed the baby boy into the world in July of that year. I One didn't half know of that. the Street Profits hasn't shared his son's name, but judging by Dawkins' social media, he absolutely loves being the father. Imagine having and a dad dope. called the Almighty. Well, there are three kids who can say they do. Bobby Lashley has been a father since 2005 when he had his first daughter. He later got married to fellow wrestling personality Crystal Marshall, and the couple had a son and daughter together. Lashley's oldest child, Kira, is 18, his son, Miles, is 15, and his youngest, Naomi, is 12. Fitting of a tribal chief, Roman Reigns. Man, this is, this is wholesome, bro. 
This is wholesome. I love it. I love videos like this just to see like kids growing up with these wrestlers that we we love to see on weekly television. And sometimes we tend to forget that these people have lives outside of wrestling. They have families, people that they provide and care for. So it's it's cool to see just that a little bit. Obviously, you know, you're not trying to get too invasive. So I'm cool with them not even showing their, their faces or their names or anything like that. Because, you know, people are weird. Fans can be weird. And once they find out their favorite wrestler has a child, they may say some weird shit. So I'm all for the prophecy. But at the same time, it is cool to know that, you know, when they're done beating up people in the ring, they go home and be there for their family. I love to see it. Reigns has a big family. Reigns met his wife while attending school at Georgia Tech. In 2007, the couple welcomed their first child, a baby girl whom they named Joelle. Roman's daughter even appeared alongside uh, him I in a remember this. announcement about fatherhood. In December 2023, Joelle will be celebrating her sweet 16. Like her dad, Joelle is into athletics, so maybe we'll see her in the bloodline someday. <laughs> now here's what's wild. Roman has not one, but two sets of twins. In 2016, Roman and his wife welcomed their second and third children at the same time, both of whom were boys. That's then, cool. in 2020, Reigns is gifted with two more sons. Oh, the wow. The chief has been pretty private about his boys, but who knows? Maybe we'll be seeing all of them in different Wow, I did not know that. That's crazy. My boy got a huge family. That's why he's, that's why he's not there. I know it makes sense, y'all. That's why Roman Reigns is not on the show. He got a big-ass family to take care of. He can't be at the show. That's why he has Paul Heyman and Solo take care of things he's got a huge ass family <laughs> be someday oscar lives a pretty private life which is understandable yes. however becky lynch did share in an interview that the empress of tomorrow is a mother how many children oscar has is unknown but he got a i think i heard the about that the oscar lock would make for a pretty cool mom sammy Zayn also keeps his uh -huh. family life pretty private but he has opened up more recently in 2018 sammy got married and in 2021 Zayn and his wife welcomed a baby boy yep. sammy's son is named rami sabay jr rami sabay being sammy Zayn's real name i guess it makes sense for Zayn's son to be called Sami Zayn Jr. if he ever decides to step into the squared circle. Uh -huh. WWE official Adam Pierce has been a married man for over 20 years That's and awesome. has two children. Pierce has a 15 year old son and a 14 year old daughter. While the retired wrestler hasn't shared if his kids will step into the ring someday, it does look like Adam Pierce's son knows how to swing a bat. Mm -hmm. It's not a huge shock to anyone yeah, that not only Seth this. Rollins and Becky Lynch husband and wife, but they're also parents. In December 2020, the couple gave birth to a girl that they named Rux. Rux has already been introduced to the wrestling business as Becky shared that she sometimes has her daughter with her at WWE mm -hmm. shows. The real question though is if Becky is the man, would that make Rux the son? Another pretty well-known <laughs> WWE couple is Bianca Belair and Montez Ford. Like Becky and Seth, the two are parents, but it's a little different. Mm. Ford had two children yeah. from a previous relationship, a boy and a girl named Liam and Morgan respectively. Once Belair and Ford got married, the EST of WWE became a stepmother. Regardless, it appears the whole family has a strong connection. And that's cool. Your mom is Bianca Belair. Your dad is fucking what your stepmom. I mean, it don't matter. That's semantics. Still may not be biological. Still your mom, Bianca Belair, step. I mean, your dad is Montez Ford. That's what are we, bro? That's so cool. I'm sorry. That's just, that's cool. <laughs> what? Man, be like, yeah. Yeah, I get, got to go to Monday Night Raw, see my mom. Kick some ass. <laughs> That's so cool, man. In 2015, Xavier Woods became a husband when he married a woman named Jess Watson. Two years later, Woods became a father when he and his wife welcomed a son. Xavier doesn't share much about his family. In fact, it's unknown what his son's name is. We do know That's that fine. Xavier Woods Jr. will be six until 23, and I got to imagine that some trombone lessons are in that child's future. Oh, Valhalla, formerly known as Sarah Logan, has managed the Viking Raiders since 2022. However, she and Eric had been together for much longer. Wow. The two began dating when they joined WB and got married in December 2018. I think I've a seen little a clip over of that. Years later, Valhalla and Eric had a son, who they named Raymond. The little Viking Raider will turn three years old in February 2024 cool. and seems to be already helping out on the family farm. Trish Stratus got married around the same time her WB career came to an end in 2006. However, Trish and her husband, Ron Fisico, didn't start having children until seven years later. In 2013, Stratus gave birth to a son named Maximus. Then, in 2017, Trish welcomed a girl to her family named Madison. We'll see if either one of Stratus's kids gets into the ring. But if Maximus decides to become a wrestler, we'll have to rename the chick kick to the dick kick. Both Jimmy and 
these damn puns by tap out, man. I'm not even. Okay. <laughs> and Jay Uso are fathers and both have exactly two kids. Main event Jay got married in 2015 to his high school sweetheart, Takesha Travis. The couple have two sons, Jay Sia and Jace. Jay Uso hasn't shared a ton about his kids, but the youngest is 11. Let's just hope they don't have a falling out yeah. with your dad and uncle. <laughs> Speaking Facts. of which, Jimmy Uso is married to someone WWE fans are pretty familiar yeah, we with, know. Naomi. The two haven't had kids of their own, but Jimmy Uso does have two children from a previous relationship. Jimmy and Naomi have a son named Jaden and a daughter named Jayla. Not much is known about Jimmy Uso's kids, but they seem to be around the same age as Jay's. The same year Love Brock Lesnar made his WWE debut, he also became a father. Lesnar's wife at the time gave birth to twins, a boy named Luke and a girl named Maya. Bro, her picture has been floating around social media like crazy. She looks exactly like Brock. She has her father's genes. There's no denying that. <laughs> Both of them are 21 now and are attending college. Maya is a volleyball player and track and field athlete at Arizona State University. Luke, on the other hand, attends school in Minnesota and is a three-time state champion in ice hockey. It was reported that Luke Lesnar is on WWE's radar, so we'll see if the Beast's son makes the jump to wrestling. We'll in addition to Luke and Maya, Brock has two other children from his marriage with former WWE star, Sable. The first is Turk, who turned 14 in 2023, and the second is Duke, who is 13. Like their stepbrother, Turk and Duke play hockey. Also, so if you're worried that Brock is going to spoil his kids, don't. You know, I got two boys, uh -huh. and I want them little bastards to know how to work. <laughs> yep. So, you know, they ain't getting no free ride. To I've seen that interview where, yeah, he was talking to Pat McAfee. He's like, nah, man, they, they going to work. Which is, there's nothing wrong with that. There is nothing wrong with that. Brock has had to work to get where he's at. So it's good to be able to instill those type of lessons and knowledge into your kids. That way they don't grow up with this sense of entitlement. You know, it's different when you, you come from money and then you teach your kids, teach your kids how to, you know, make their own money, be their own man and or woman. That's different. That's that's a that's some next level right there. You know, not everybody does that. And sometimes you end up with adults growing up feeling entitled because they came from money. But it's always cool to see people like, yeah, I got it. I got my money. That's cool. But I want you to make yours. I'm going to put the steps and tools in front of you so you can make that happen. So this was cool. This was definitely, definitely dope, man. Wholesome video. Love to see these wrestlers, you know, interact with their children, you know, and uh, it, it shows they love the, the wrestling business, but it pays the bills. It makes sure their children, their family are OK and, and well taken care of. And I love to see it. So comment down below. Let me know what other videos you guys want me to check out. Appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel. Road to 150K. And I'm still here to speed the YouTube wrestling champion world. Appreciate y'all keeping it with me. See y'all next one. Peace.